Hey everyone. So I'm working on my new design here inside of Photoshop. This is the image that I was starting with and I wanted to extract this person from the background. So I spent a bit of time creating this layer mask just over here. The red X is showing that I temporarily have this hidden. If I press shift and click on that mask, I'll bring that back. So that's just a nice little trick to know. If you hold down the shift key, you can click on a mask to temporarily disable it and do the same to bring it back. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking now. I would like to have her fade away to nothing as we get to the bottom of the page. So we can see from my mask that the black areas conceal while the white areas reveal. So what I am thinking is I will apply a gradient moving up her body, starting from black and going to transparent. So let's do that. Let's go and grab the gradient tool by pressing G or choosing this tool just here and press D to bring up my default colors and press the X key to bring the black color to the foreground color. And you can see up here inside of my gradient options just here, I'll make sure the second one here is just chosen, which is foreground to transparent. Okay, so now I'm ready to draw. Make sure I'm targeting the mask. And from the bottom of the page, I'm going to click and hold. Hold down my shift key to make sure I get a nice square gradient. And I'll release up around the neck, just somewhere around here. And there we go, that looks fantastic. That's exactly the look that I wanted. But I'm also aware that I might change my mind at a later point. So here's the problem. Let's press the Alt or the Option key and then click on the mask and that will actually show you the mask. So this is exactly the result that I wanted, but you can see that I have now permanently burnt that gradient into that mask that I had created a few moments ago. So this is definitely a destructive way of working and not the best way to do this. So let's undo and let's click on the thumbnail to bring this back. So if possible, let's try and separate these two masks from each other. Now, it's only possible to add a single layer mask to a single layer, but there is a sneaky way we can get around this. So with this layer selected, if I come up under layer, I'm looking for this option just here, group layers, command or control G. So I'll click on that. It puts our layer inside of a group. With that group selected, I can come down to the bottom of the layers panel. This little icon just here will add a layer mask. If I click on that, check this out. We've got a layer mask now against the group. So with that layer mask on the group targeted, let's do the same thing I did a moment ago with my gradient tool, clicking at the bottom, holding down my shift key, releasing up around here. So visually this looks identical to what I created a few moments ago, but check out my layers panel. I now have this mask just here. So I'll press Alt or Option to have a look at that. There's my nice gradient. And then we'll do the same just over here. And there's my original mask untouched. So that's fantastic. We've got the result we wanted, but we've got two separate masks. Let's step this up again. So what I'm thinking guys is I would like to have this side of her faded as well. So of course, let's repeat the process. I'll select the group just here. Let's press uh, Command or Control G to group that. Let's apply a layer mask to that. And then with that mask targeted, let's just uh, draw a gradient over here. Fantastic, there we go. So the great thing about this is, of course, as you've already seen, um, all these masks are separated. We could always throw a mask away at any future point. You know, I can always just grab that mask and throw it down to the bin just there. But let me undo that because I'll show you that the, the even better way is just to hold down your uh, shift key and you can temporarily disable any mask that you like. So that's turned off the bottom gradient just there. I'll shift click to there, bring that back. Maybe I'll shift click this top one and maybe I don't like the original. So you can see, we have all these options now that we have all these multiple masks spread across these multiple groups. So I'll just uh, bring all of those back to show you the final result just there. So I hope that helps there guys. So separating out your masks to uh, give you some very powerful non-destructive editing capabilities. Hope that helps. Catch you later.